G'day, this is buildthehousesitter.com and if I sound a little bit lethargic, that's because this is take five. Now I'm walking slowly towards the two Alaskans that I'm looking after at the moment. And as I expected, as soon as I started to talk, one of them, that's Mick the Master Farter at the front there, that's not his real name, he's become a little bit animated. I'm starting to learn more about these guys. I've only had them, well, been looking after them for less than a week now. They're both, so Mick the Master Farter, and at the back there we've got Sparrow. Now Sparrow is a Husky and Mick the Master Farter is a Malamute. So they're both very close wolf descendants. In fact, it comes through in a lot of their behavior. Uh, they have some traits. I don't know a lot about dogs as in the real science of and the real, you know, the real down deep and dirty. Just one second. Hey, it's okay. It's all right. No, it's okay. It's okay. Just gentle. Just gentle. If you ever watch The Big Bang Theory, there's an episode where, uh, uh, what's his name? Sheldon Cooper is the main protagonist. Oh, sorry, the protagonist. Beg your pardon. Get it right, Billy Quinn. Uh, he is the one, he actually talks about some of the stuff that I learned in my, during my study, uh, Skinner's behavioralism. And he actually uses voice modification to get the, uh, the woman, what's her name, Penny, to actually uh, change the way that she speaks and go from that really high pitch down to a yes, like lower. And that's the same thing with dogs. You can use your voice to actually modify their behavior. You don't need to be doing signals. You can, hand signals. Uh, you don't need to be, the words sometimes don't matter. The words, in fact, Sparrow here spent the first year of her life with an Indian family. So she had uh, all of her commands in Gujarat. I think that's the, I think that's the name of the language, Indian language. So uh, when the lovely couple that uh, their pack leaders, their current pack leaders, who actually are in India at the moment, when they got Sparrow, they had to un unteach all of that stuff about uh, you know the Indian words and to reteach in English. Uh, behavior modification. I don't do behavior modification with the animals that I look after. All I do is I pinch this off somebody else. I just just calm them down a little bit so for instance we get a lot of sirens around here and uh, so what I've t in, been teaching them is to just get very very calm when a siren goes past because to them that is a predator out on the tundra and you know that I won't do it now but you know that the, so the sound of the blues and the twos the um, emergency uh, emergency transport vehicles um, hey Hey, 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 hey. The absolute worst thing you can do at this point in time is to start raising your voice and screaming at them and certainly hitting them is right out. If you feel the need to actually lay into another sentient being, racehorse, dog, human, you've really lost the plot and you've lost whatever argument it was that you're trying to get get through. In this case, I just wanted them to stop jumping around because I'd rather they didn't, uh, their leads come loose. Now, I've got to wrap this up because this is the fifth time I've tried to do it. And the problem is, the problem is that I have, I don't know what that was. Oh, that was, that, see, that's an adult yelling at kids. So anyway, uh, this is my third video, hopefully. I've only got about another minute and then I do have to stop because I'm going to run out of storage space. Uh, this phone has been a really good... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hey, see, this is the funny thing. That's the boy, the big one. They're roughly the same ages, but being a husky and a malamute, they're different sizes. They love to get in each other's way. They love to get in my way and they love to tangle themselves up. Uh, but the little one, the woman, the woman, the the female she's actually got i think she's got a fair high amount of testosterone because she does like to um let's say take the active role in any sort of um sex play <clears throat> yes we'll, we'll leave it at that um doggy style um i wanted to show you this very briefly what i do um actually i don't think we've got time for it there's a whole thing i was going to do here we are in bankstown um which is not to do with the fact that the two of those pies are halal beef and one isn't. But uh, for another time, just, just put back brain, meat pies, 
and that might be episode 4 or 36 of buildahousesitter.com from Bankstown wishing you a happy Saturday and go watch some clouds today clouds rock see ya see you see you